Hello everyone, I welcome you all to this tutorial which is on vocabulary and in this tutorial we are going to learn some simple tricks and ways to develop vocabulary. Uh, developing vocabulary is not just important from the perspective of uh, various exams that you want to take but also from the perspective of success in our daily life. So irrespective of you taking an exam or not, it makes eminent sense to develop vocabulary to you know, enhance your knowledge of words and it could be a very interesting pastime or a hobby so if you take it like a long-term goal it could be a very good uh, hobby so whenever you get some free time you can learn some 10-15 words every day and that gives you a chance to use those words whenever you write something or when you speak and there are some simple ways which we are going to learn here. So first of all, it is very important to get interested in learning vocabulary. So once you get interested, it becomes easy for you to relate and it becomes a very interesting exercise. You can motivate yourself by taking examples of people like Shashi Tharoor, who come with very strong vocabulary or very good knowledge of words. And the way they depict their ideas is strongly enhanced, is greatly enhanced by the vocabulary they use. Uh, there is a jail story, so I would like to relate to that. It was uh, found that people who are imprisoned, people who commit uh, various crimes are the ones who have very limited vocabulary. So since, uh, so how is it related? It was told that limited vocabulary means limited knowledge of the world. Limited knowledge of the world means very easily breaking laws of the world. Breaking laws of the world means getting into the jail. And then when those people were simply taught vocabulary, words of love, words of praise, words of wisdom, words of understanding, they started developing interest in the world. And the same prisoners started showing uh, their uh, inclination to get back into the world so vocabulary can help you uh, live peacefully in the world to a great extent because you know how to deal with different situations words are like vehicles so if you have got those vehicles you can go anywhere you can transmit your thoughts or convey your ideas to people so lack of vocabulary means lack of expressions means lack of uh, ability to survive in the world or to succeed in the world so it gives you a free freedom good vocabulary means you can very freely express your ideas in different situations and you can use the most appropriate word in that fits in that particular situation it could be a means to progress you will find that most of the leaders are blessed with great vocabulary if you talk about obama or any other leader of the world who has created an impact uh, are definitely uh, great orators and one of the things which make them great orators is their vocabulary so uh, vocabulary also gives you a chance to learn more the more words you know the easier it gets to learn more new words we learn everything from what we already know so if you've got a wider base of words or knowledge of words with you, it would be easier for you to learn new words because we learn through relation. We relate what we already know. So vocabulary can be a way to improve various other subjects. When you know words related to science, biology, chemistry, history, sociology, and if something related to that subject comes, you would be able to interpret it very easily. So vocabulary can be very, very helpful in reading comprehension also. And as we said, vocabulary is not just important from the perspective of various tests that you are going to take in your life, but also from the perspective of your long-term success in your professional life. Now, there are certain ways to improve your vocabulary and we are going to go through these ways one by one. I'll just quickly read the list which I have created here. The most simple way to develop vocabulary is to go through root words, suffixes and prefixes. 
you can make a target of learning like 20 to 30 words every day in case you want to go with less words that is also absolutely fine but then uh, in case you are going for some kind of test obviously you'll have to have a bigger target with you because in a very short span of time you are going to you plan to achieve more uh, mnemonics is another good way mnemonics are some shortcuts which are meant only for you so we'll go through certain mnemonics and we'll see how we can use them to learn words to remember words and to use words you can also use flashcards. These flashcards are very easily available on internet by different creators and publishers. So I would be taking you through some flashcards here and we are going to see how we can develop our own vocabulary. The advent of internet and online learning has made it possible for us to learn anything, anywhere, anytime. Google is the master trainer, I would say. So you can, once you know the ways, it's upon you how you implement them. But yes, you will have to be a little sincere in terms of uh, daily practice. It's only through revision that you remember stuff. You know, the more you revise, the more easier it gets for you to use those words when the situation arises. But vocabulary is so, so very important from the perspective of all the various various types of tests whether it is a listening test or a reading test or a writing test and also from the perspective of interviews and uh, your future life okay so let's go get back to the first word the, the first way of developing vocabulary is to learn root words like for example copia means to copy something or the cop the word copia means abundance Abundance means that there are lots and lots of something. So, that's why copy copy. So, copy means abundance. Copious, copious tears. Copious tears. Copious tears. Copious tears. Copious Copious tears. 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 Copious or cordial cordial relationships means very easy relationships or happy relationships or friendly relationships between people accord accordingly you know again this accord word also has the same root word which is cord so by knowing this word we can know all the words in which the cord comes a word of caution though you know root words can be useful but that but they are not always sacrosanct i mean you cannot just go by root words alone they can definitely be helpful to know the meanings of words then there are prefixes now prefixes as the name suggests come and comes at the beginning of um, a word like for example a a is a prefix which means no like a moral is not moral pathy or pathos is feelings so apathy means lack of any feelings anomaly means not normal so a is not having something similarly ab or abs means away something so abrupt abrupt means achanak absconded is to run away or absconding somebody is absconding means not attending the classes abstract is away from a structure struct is structure so abstract means away from structure the next great way to develop your vocabulary is through mnemonics. Now, mnemonics are some small stories or some personal stories that you devise to remember words. Like, for example, if you want to remember the word gregarious, you can have a story wherein you say that I had a friend by the name Greg who loved company. So, Greg was the one who loved company, who loved company, who loved company. And you can animate it with some more details. So you can imagine a character or some friend of yours who loved company and you can associate it with, with the word gregarious. So that will become very easy for you to remember the meaning of the word gregarious. Similarly, MB dexterous. Now, by face of it, this words look very difficult, but then if you associate it with a word or somebody you know like for example the character of virus in three idiots 
which was played by Boma Nirani. Wo dono haathon se likh sakta tha. So uh, this becomes very easy to remember. MB Dexterous is someone who is able to use both his hands equally efficiently. So with equal efficiency, I should say. So MB Dexterous person would be able to write with his left hand as well as right hand, would be able to do any work with both the hands. So that's MB Dexterous. And MB means both, Dexter means right hand. So MB Dexterous becomes someone who is able to use both his hands as if they are right hands. Let's do an exercise of mnemonic. So, a word aapke paas hai, sardonic. Now, I want you to remember this word. Now, sardonic by... Uh, it sounds a little difficult, but then, if you associate it with some picture, sardonic means like a face, hai, uske andar ek dog jaisa bana hua hai. So, that's very belittling to call somebody as dog or a donkey. So, it's sardonic. The meaning of the word sardonic is, matlab kisi ko बुरे शब्द बोलना, हंसी उड़ाना, मजाक उड़ाना। So uh, sardonic word is like you call somebody a donkey. So donkey is a very sardonic word. Similarly, if you call somebody a papu, that is also sardonic. So sardonic is to uh, give a belittling term to somebody, and uh, uh, that's how you, you know, you can associate words with certain characters. And that becomes easy to remember. So mnemonics is one good way. You can make your own story to remember words of your choice. So what is a flashcard now? A flashcard is nothing but a card wherein a word is written. And when you click on that word, the meaning would come. So if there is a list of words you want to remember, you can either make your own flashcards or you can use flashcards which are freely available on internet. One good site to have flashcards is Magoosh. It also gives you flashcards to be used in your mobile phone. So you can download the app and you can install it on your lab, on your on your computer or your hand or your mobile and you can use it. Like for example, here there is a flashcard. The word is feature. And let's imagine we don't know the meaning of the word feature. So when we click on that, the meaning would come. It's a noun and as a noun, it is used as an important characteristic or a property of something. So that's what feature is. And then they have given a sentence on this. If you look at this, the sound made by R is one of the most difficult features of spoken English. So this is one sentence where the word feature is used as a noun. Similarly, it can be used as a verb and there's a sentence on that. The university's new student housing features larger rooms than the old building did. So this is another way of using the word features. So flashcards can be a great way to remember words. It helps you to revise words very quickly. If you have meaning, you can skip word because you have the meaning jin words ke bare mein aapko pata hai usko aap i knew this word pe click karenge to ye word list mein se hat jayega aapki ek personal list ban jati hai aur unhi words ko wo bar bar dikhata hai jo aap clear nahi hote hain so using flash cards can be a great way to develop your own vocabulary so this brings us to the end of this presentation and i would quickly recap the ways to develop your vocabulary are using root words or prefixes and suffixes, using mnemonics, using flashcards, or and doing lots and lots of exercises. Remember, the more words you know, the stronger are your prospects of clearing any test. And uh, it is also very important to have a very successful professional life. You would become a better orator. You would have lots of vehicles to express your thoughts. So all the best and I wish you remember lots and lots of words and they make, they help you in every possible way. Thank you so much.